Hello everyone, um, welcome back to Retro Lobby Inc. We're going to discuss one more thing today. Um, actually, it's the next day. It's the 5th of March, 2015. And what I wanted to discuss with everyone is how to get rid of shadow people. Now, shadow people are not at all what you think they are. And there's two different types of shadow people. Um, I was watching a movie... I think sometime last year where they were saying um, that shadow people were the jinn. Shadow people are not the jinn. Um, if you don't know what a jinn is, it's, an, it's uh, the Middle Eastern word for genie. Okay, genies are real. They're interdimensional and they are different colors, and they live like out in the cosmos in this gigantic, beautiful city. But they get trapped here a lot. So, but that's a whole nother subject. Okay, we're not going to go into that today. I know a lot about jinn. Um, anyway, um, and they're not demons either. The shadow people are not demons. A lot of people think they're demons. They're not. Okay? Um, shadow people are interdimensional beings. And they come here to feed off fear and basically just cause chaos. Now, there are two types of shadow people. One is the real shadow people. The other one, and I cannot believe this actually happened, is the fake shadow people. Um, there are... How do I describe this? There are people who come in from another dimension and they're invisible, but they're disguised as shadow people. And they're not ghosts either because it's almost like, I don't know if it's the military or who's doing it, but it's almost like they have this machine and they can cloak themselves and then they can disguise themselves as anything they want for your perception to see, for your third eye to see. So. If your third eye is open, you will see past it, and you will see what they really are. Um, we've had this happen, happen several times over the years, um, and we even had it happen where we um, actually were protecting this lady at the gas station and um, actually gave her money and helped her. So the, that's a different story. Um, so the shadow people, they are interdimensional beings. They come in from another dimension. Um, and they don't look like what you think they look like, okay? Most people who see shadow people out of the corners of their eyes or whatever, um, and if their third eye isn't open, they will see like this black misty looking stuff or this all, all black shadow and stuff like that. And there are a lot of ghosts who pretend to be shadow people and they're not, okay? So that's another, that's the third thing that can happen. Um, ghosts will pretend to be shadow people because the shadow people have more power than they do and they can use that to gain more fear and to gain more control of whoever they're bothering you know if it's a malicious ghost or something like that malicious spirit um, so the shadow people um, this is how you get rid of them okay if you send love light and blessings to a shadow person once the shadow comes off okay and so so they look more like um yellow sand is the best way i can describe it a yellow sand humanoid looking person um they have the outline of face outline of nose they have no eyes no mouth no ears okay that's what they look like and if you clear away the first time love light and blessings and your third eye is open that is what you will see this sandy looking creature humanoid thing um <clears throat> and so the next thing you do and, and number one never be afraid of the shadow people or anything that's pretending to be a shadow person um they can't hurt you if you don't let them okay period do not give them power by giving them your fear okay um if you say love light and lessons to them one more time they turn to ash they completely just turn to ash and dissolve and they're gone um i do not know why they're here other than to cause chaos and uh to feed off fear okay that's that's the only thing i really know about them other than them being interdimensional and what um and at, at one point i was thinking well maybe they're the archons you know but then i heard another interview where the person said archons are more like a um a more type of a machine type thing that was created so um but, but there's different theories on archons many different theories so that's what i know about the shadow people for sure and that's what i've seen happen over and over every time 
I'd experienced a shadow person. And I even, I've even had to clear them out of different places for people. So that is how you deal with the shadow people. Um, if, if you have a spirit that is pretending to be a shadow person, if you send love, light, and blessings to it one time, it, it will strip away whatever they're hiding immediately. And you will see just the spirit or the person there standing in front of you usually. Um, and usually you can cross them over right away, usually. That usually um, cl clears away any negativity. Um, there's only one other thing that might happen is when there's a lot of malicious spirits together and they kind of fused into one, you know, like in a psychiatric ward, an old psychiatric ward, or maybe an old hospital where a lot of people have died, you know, that could occur. But you can still send them um, all, um, you send love, light, and blessings to them. And, um, usually usually you can send them straight to the light so there's been um some rare cases that um i think have been quite difficult um but anyway i just wanted to tell you guys not to be afraid of the shadow people they cannot hurt you not unless you let you know let them feed off your fear and you have all the power you're a human being and you have the power to control your fear and not allow anything that is interdimensional or otherwise spiritual to upset you or to invade your home um, or anything like that. Um, what helps though, and you can do this, is you can take four crystal quartz and put them at the base of your house in the um, four corners of your house, the four farthest corners that make, you know, your your house, you know, the big square. Um, or if you have a dome, put them, you know, the best way you can. Um, or an airship for that matter. Just do it the best way you can and put up a crystal grid and it will protect you. Um, I always wear um, my crystal quartz. As most of you know, it's a chakra and you can't really see it very well right now. But um, I bought some organite because there's my organite I got um, last year because the angels told me things were about to get really worse in my life. And oh, they were right. Like, like 100% right. And things just went to hell in my life last year and uh, it was one of those years where I just wanted to like um, crumple up the whole year as if it were a piece of paper and throw it in the trash and light it on fire. That's really how I felt last year. Um, this year though, every, everything's gone and, and I'm fine and I'm much better and everything that was bothering me is just gone. Um, so anyway, that's what I would rec recommend for the shadow people. Do not be afraid of them. Um, and I will probably do another video on the gin and um, these these things that love to, they're, they're people that love to pretend they're shadow people, but they're not from this dimension. They're interdimensional, and I don't know if they're like just watchers coming in and, you know, like kind of observing stuff and giving people a hard time or what they're doing. I kind of think it's the military because they wear like these um, tan jumpsuits. You know how, you know how, like a lot of people who fly in the military, they wear like their green jumpsuits and, and stuff like that to fly or whatever. Well, these people wear like these tan jumpsuits. So I'm pretty sure it's military because I always see them after after they pretend to be a shadow person. We send love like lessons to them and we see what they look like. They have very short hair, these people. They, they look like military and then they go back through whatever and they're like in a warehouse area, you know. So we've had that ha happen several times, not only to us, but to someone else. So um, it's really freaky and weird, but, you know, whatever. Um, and it's always outside my house, like somewhere in the car or something like that. So I need to put up a, a crystal grid in uh, actually my truck. <laughs> of all the places, I would have to put up a crystal grid. It would have to be my truck. Um, anyway, love you all. I hope this helps you guys. Do not be afraid of them. You know, even if you see them out of the corner of your eyes, do not be afraid of them. Do not give your power away whatsoever. Okay? You guys can do this. You guys are brave souls. You got to be brave. You know, this is a strange world we live in. And there's so many things that people don't see. Or they see it and then they don't believe they actually saw it because their third eye is like slightly open or something. But what I'm finding is um, a lot of people are waking up and their third eye all of a sudden flips fully open and instead of seeing just a little bit of what's going on they see everything at once and they kind of just freak out and go mad and get really scared um so don't do that don't do that to yourself don't stress out yourself 
just so go oh my third eye is completely open now I see what is actually going on I just calm yourself buy you some organite you know wear it you can wear you know there's all different kind of organites you don't have to buy what I have just get whatever you like um, off Etsy those are the best ones and I get a crystal quartz you can buy anything you like you don't have to buy what I wear you know you buy anything you like that inspires you okay love light and blessings to all of you love you and um, keep those chins up because we live in a bizarre world I'm not joking it's strange <laughs> bye